Well, I'd like to re uh, welcome her to the show. Now, she is founder and owner of the stock Swoosh LLC. Melissa, good to have you back here on Market Overtime. Um, maybe you can start off by just giving us a quick uh, overall view on what you see in the markets right now. I think the market really didn't go much of anywhere this week, despite the fact that we made new highs. It really didn't have a big move up because it was going into a holiday weekend. So some people take off the week before our long weekend. Some people will take off next week. So next week could be a little sideways action as well. What really made, made me really think about it today was how horrific this jobs number was today. The market barely reacted to it. We were up in the pre-market very early this morning. Then the number came out and we opened lower, but we never really had a hard sell up. Don't think that's going to hold true forever. I think at some point it's all going to come to a head at, that the market is going to react negatively to the fact that we really didn't hit that number. Remember, a lot of people were on vacation, so they probably weren't trading. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, of course, short week next week. Well, let me ask you this. Are there any particular companies or stock symbols that you like uh, in this current environment that, we, that you just broke down? Well, I really do like NVIDIA. I think we talked about that last time. That stock is so strong. It's mm. moving ahead of the market. Anything that's moving ahead of the market, and NVIDIA is one of those stocks that continually is making new highs and setting new records. I like it. I, you could have gone long it today. It rallied. It gapped down. So I don't play gap downs long. But if it breaks out and makes new highs, highs next week. That'll be a nice trade, possibly up to the 250 area. And one day, maybe even up to 300. You know, that's a stock that's really kind of on its own. So something like that, I think, has long-term potential. I mean, that could even double. I hate to say it, but that could even double in price in the next 12 months. I, I wouldn't put it past it. Got it. Well, let's turn our attention to some of the FANG stocks, which we know a lot of those fall in the group of IT and communication services. And I was just Looking here, you know, for the year, communication services up 29.5%. So obviously had a good run. Uh, when you look at uh, IT, up about 21.5%. So they've had a pretty good run. What, what's your, your look forward on some of these big, uh, big name FANG stocks? Well, as far as tech goes, I will say that Amazon has been abysmal since the earnings. Despite the failed attempt at a rally back this week with the market, it's nowhere near the highs. When you look at the overall market and it's near the highs, and Amazon, one of the strongest, most expensive stocks in the market, is nowhere near the highs, I think that that's a problem right now, unless it does something amazing next quarter in the earnings. Remember, the next earnings season isn't until October. So we've got about six weeks until the next report. But long term, I like Amazon. Long term, I like Amazon. I think that stock, I mean, the company keeps growing, they keep expanding. For whatever reason, again, it dropped. They spent a lot of money on all of the protocols to try to help with the COVID. So they had a lot of expenses when you look at it in the last year and a half, but really that is one business that kept going during COVID. So I think it will make a turnaround, whether it does in October for the next earnings or not until early 2022, I don't know, but long-term that stock price could be at the 4,000 number. Wow, okay. Well, so uh, kind of long-term bullish on, on the FANG stocks, particularly Amazon. Uh, now, Melissa, I'm going to ask you a question that goes in the opposite direction. Are there any stocks that you're not keen on? In other words, uh, sort of have a bearish, a neutral with a bearish outlook. I would say that I'm bearish on two particular things. One is BYND. That when that first when that stock first came out, remember the IPO? It went it went like up so fast, so quick, so high, no one even could believe it. That that was, I think, the summer of 2019. I think the move was so big, so quick, so fast, it was like a phenomenon. And ever since then, it's never got anywhere near those previous highs. And again, don't forget, we're in a bullish market. The stock dropped a lot today. It was a beautiful short today, actually. Whether you shorted as a day trade or even did a put, I think that price is probably going to go somewhere near the $100 level before it goes anywhere up again, anywhere near like a 150 level. So I like BYND short. As far as other shorts, I do like some of the airlines. They've had a rough time during COVID. Now they're requiring all these mandates. We're still having mass problems. Now there's issues also flying travel overseas. All of these things are hitting the airlines and Boeing looks lower to me. It's trying to make it go up, but every time it does, it fails. So that stock, I like that stock short even will really before COVID, because remember there was a couple of accidents and issues with some of the planes that was horrible, and then COVID hit it, and it's never been anywhere near that 300 number. So 
I really think that Boeing could potentially be lower again before it moves higher. That has earnings sometime in the fall. I think it's the first week of November. Um, but that could fall further even until then. That's a long way away. You know, when you mentioned Beyond Meat, Melissa, I looked, uh, that high was about 239.7. Let's just call it 240. Now trading about, what, 115, somewhere in that range. So definitely ha that stock is... Uh, that, that, that all time high seems a long way away. And you're right about airlines. We, you know, we see some TSA numbers coming down. We're seeing a lot more cancellations going into the fall. So uh, I certainly see how you maintain sort of a neutral to bearish perspective on these. Well, um, unfortunately, Melissa, we're out of time, but thanks for uh, talking a little bit about your overall market views, stocks you like and stocks that you're a little bit hesitant on as well. Melissa, thanks for joining us and have a great long weekend. That was Melissa Armo, founder, owner, the Stock Swoosh LLC.